Philadelphia is in the spotlight again in campaign 2016. Jill Stein's Green Party filed a federal lawsuit in Philadelphia today as part of the push for a recount in Pennsylvania. Eyewitness News reporter David Sput is live at the federal courthouse with more on today's developments and what it all means, David. Hi, Jessica. Well, it appears that Jill Stein's fight is far from over. This is the federal lawsuit filed today. I want to read the first line of the lawsuit. It says the Pennsylvania election system is a national disgrace. Stein's attorneys were behind me a little bit earlier today. They want this recount to start as soon as possible. This is about ensuring that all votes get counted and that voters can trust this system going forward. Jill Stein made it clear. She's not giving up on election 2016 during a news conference in front of all places, Trump Tower. Stein is suing in federal court to force a recount in Pennsylvania. The constitutional rights of Pennsylvania voters are being violated. But that recount isn't coming without skepticism. Trying to follow the bouncing ball in this whole thing is, is really challenging. Every day brings a new story. David Thornburg runs the Committee of 70, a nonprofit, nonpartisan political watchdog group. Stein's team argues that voting machines, especially those in Pennsylvania are a prime target for hackers. No one's presented any evidence that any of this has happened. So it seems like we're in the process of debating theory. But local elections officials have said numerous times that the machines are not connected to the Internet, making hacking next to impossible. They use 1990s technology. It's child's play to hack into this machine. David Thornburg believes this recount won't make a big difference. And he wants the conversation about election problems in America to take center stage during a political off season. Uh, we could just as easily do those uh, without being under the spotlight and the pressure cooker of an actual uh, campaign. We could do this six months from now. We are talking about the federal level right now. Stein's attorneys will meet tomorrow before a local judge in City Hall to try to convince that judge to allow them to actually open up Philadelphia's machines to make sure that there's no integrity problems inside with the equipment. Reporting live tonight at the federal courthouse in Philadelphia, I'm David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, David, thank you.